Wizara ya Afya imebaini kuwa mfumo wa sasa wa vipimo viwili vya virusi vya ukimwi sio bora. Using that two test based algorithm has a limitation at population level where there could be some cases that are not correctly classified for appropriate intervention. Viwango vinavyoashiria wanaoogua nchini Kenya ni kati ya 99.5 hadi 95 kulingana na ripoti ya shirika la afya duniani ya Disemba mwaka jana viwango vya chini ya tisa vinaweza kusababisha kuongezeka kwa utambuzi mbaya na kusababisha watu wasio na HIV kutibiwa kimakosa you test somebody and you give that person not correct results kufuatia pendekezo la shirika la afya duniani la mwaka 2019 la kupitisha kanuni ya majaribio matatu Kenya imetambua vifaa viwili vipya vya majaribio na kwa sasa iko katika awamu ya utekelezaji. The new three test algorithm therefore increases our opportunity of correctly classifying somebody at the point of service within a shorter time with accurate results and linking them to the correct treatment. It also allows us to correctly classify those who are negative but maybe at a high risk. Utafiti wa majaribio ulifanywa katika kliniki ya wajawazito katika hospitali ya Kiambu ambapo watu 290 walihusika kanuni mpya ya vipimo vitatu ilibainisha sampuli nne kama zisizo kamili ambazo hapo awali kwa kutumia mfumo wa vipimo viwili zilibainishwa kuwa zisizo na virusi vya ukimwi this client was positive with our first test which is twin screen so we subjected that client to our second test which is one step and as you can see there are two lines So therefore this client has been confirmed with our second test as positive. We will go to our third test the same client we subject to the third test. Our third test is called first response. And as you can see any line even if it is faint that is a positive client. Uwasilishaji wa bidhaa za kanuni ya majaribio matatu utaanza katika mwaka wa fedha wa 2024-2025 na kugawanya kaunti ya 47 katika kanda tano. Awamu ya kwanza itajumuisha kaunti za Wajia, Garissa, Lamu na Marsabit, huku awamu ya pili ikijumuisha kaunti za Pokot Magharibi, Kiambu, Bomet na Muranga. Awamu ya tatu itajumuisha kaunti za Kilifi, Makueni, Nandi na Narok huku awamu ya nne ikijumuisha kaunti za Nakuru, Kitui, Nairobi na Kajiado. Awamu ya tano itajumuisha kaunti za Vihiga, Samburu, Mombasa na Kisumu. By July we should be having facilities testing using the three test algorithm as we phase out the two test algorithm. Upimaji wa HIV pia utaunganishwa katika huduma mbalimbali za afya ikiwa ni pamoja na upangaji uzazi tembe za kuzuia maambukizi ya HIV aina ya pre-exposure na post-exposure prophylaxis na kliniki za magonjwa yasiyo ya kuambukiza kwa upande mwingine wanasayansi wamesisitiza haja ya kuongeza uwekezaji wa serikali katika utafiti na maendeleo ili kusaidia udhibiti wa HIV we want to move away from just counting numbers to discovery what discovery science and discovery science is really ability to make diagnostics that will be applicable locally ability to to make vaccines that are important to us kufikia sasa maambukizi ya HIV nchini Kenya yamefikia 3.7 Ben Kirira K24 makala ya siha yangu Nairobi